John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and uh, today I have a video that is a um, response, open tag response to Patty's Potato Peelers um, open open tag, um, and I believe his tag was um, new knives that you purchased in the last three months. Well, I don't really purchase that many knives, so I'm doing some of my newest knives, which give you a flavor of what you could see on my channel. I'm just getting started, so I have a fairly small collection compared to some, but I like to collect all kinds, all types of knives, as you can see from the table here today, just a, just a collection of some of my newer knives, and uh, so you're going to see on my channel budget folders like this Kershaw Hotwire, which is a Walmart exclusive, you know, $11, very good one. You're going to see small lockbacks like the Gerber LST Ultralight, the Buck 55, which has been a couple of my videos so far. You're going to see things like the Mighty Might, Old Timer 18OT Mighty Might, which just has this brass liner lock. Um, you might see older knives, interesting knives like the Imperial Camp King. This big blade, lots of belly. It's got the can opener. And then, of course, the bottle opener, which is a little hard to get open here. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Put the screwdriver and the awl over on the other side. You know, see things like that. I have a video on my Imperials. Recently, I got, got this as a gift. This is actually the um, name, excuse me, it's called the Smart Knife by True Utility. That's it. it. Has a nice blade. That's actually very sharp. I really like the blade. Uh, liner lock. Um, it has a little pry bar right here. It has a bottle opener. It has wrenches. It has a cord cutter, uh, carabiner. Kind of an interesting little thing. It's an inexpensive knife. You're going to see this is somewhat new to me. Uh, this is the Gerber arm bar. I really like multi-tools and just more for uh, the use of it. It's got this drive here. Um, it has a scissors and an awl inside. It's got a really nice locking blade. Very sharp. So really like this one. Um, has this pummel and bottle opener. This is really cool. It has, you know, the I don't the scissors aren't, you know, what you would find in a Victorinox, of course, but they do work pretty well. I like this. I've been carrying this um, Gerber armbar. Of course, um, you have Victorinox and Winger, which uh, I've got the Fisherman here, which is a. Uh, this is actually a vintage Fisherman. 1985 and uh, I'll talk more about that in another video but got that in a trade got this in a trade the winger apprentice so I love my Victorinox and winger and then uh, this past year I got the Benchmade bug out which I carry quite a bit but I don't really focus on uh, expensive folders or high-end knives I really like the budget I like the Victorinox and the Winger. I like the kind of the interesting things that you find. And uh, multi-tools, so I'm just all over the place. And I think you might have heard a dog barking in this video, so uh, please excuse that. But I'm out in the shop today uh, doing this one. And uh, and so I got a little different background, but uh, I really hope you uh, appreciate this video. Or you can watch it and enjoy it. And, um, Thank you, Patty, for your support. He uh, often comments on videos and watches my videos, so I really appreciate that. That means a lot. Um, he he has a great channel over there, so watch Patty's Potato, potato Peelers whenever you get a chance. And this is my uh, open tag response. Thank you. Thanks for watching.